My name is Dan Cuellar, and I created what's now called Appium. So I see Sauce as sort of the patron of Appium. Like if Appium is Beethoven, Sauce is like Archduke Rudolph or whoever his patron was that sort of lets him be and do his thing and make great things. And so I see Sauce as sort of the, the benefactor or the patron behind Appium that puts some resources into it so that the community has something very great. Uh, and they sort of fund it and they subsidize it and they help it exist. My name is Matthew Edwards and I'm currently the number two contributor to Appium uh, on GitHub ranked by CommitterCon. The number one reason people should use Appium is it's one of the most active automation technologies. It's open source and it's backed by a commercial company and that makes sure that the bugs get resolved in a timely fashion. So my name is Igor and, and Appium was the, probably the first candidate and that's how we probably start engaging into Appium project and using them as our primary optimization platform at the XPM. I think uh, the idea of Appium is very powerful. It pretty much, it's a future. Future of unifying, uh, um, you know, test automation under one umbrella. And uh, the idea is so great is that a lot of companies in the area and I think uh, around the nation and maybe even international start looking at the Appium as the, as the future technology of that's automation. Plus, the, uh, um, they're using um, Selenium WebDriver APIs, which is also very soon becomes industry standard. So before, people had a lot of choices and they were confused. And I think now, um, the choice is clear. It's at you. I'm Jonathan Lips, and uh, I'm the chief architect and project lead for Appium. I think the, the main reason people should use Appium is because um, it has a cool name and a cool logo. That's basically it. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. I think the best part about using Appium is how easy it makes running cross-platform tests. Um, you don't have to learn a new language or a new API. You already know how to use Selenium or something like that, and so you can just go ahead and leverage all that existing infrastructure you've built up to use Appium and you can write tests for iOS and for Android that pretty much look and work the same. You don't have to learn a totally different tool for all the different platforms. Uh, my name is Dan Dovrava, uh, and I'm affiliated with Appio because I uh, contribute both on, to the source code and then also I'm a user of Appium every day and uh, organizer of the Appium San Francisco Meetup group. I think it's great to have Sauce Labs behind Appium. Um, you know, the uh, Sauce Labs commitment to both open source and testing is uh, second to none. I think that probably when you think of automated testing at scale, uh, it's synonymous with Sauce Labs. So to have Sauce Labs behind Appium, it's, uh, it's a great resource. People should use Appium because it's, you know, it's cross-platform. People should use Appium because you don't have to modify your code to test it. People should use Appium because it's free and we don't charge anything and it's better than what you can pay for.